you want to get big and strong, do it the right way, okay? So, stated by the National Institute on Drug Abuse, anabolic steroid abuse has been associated with a wide range of adverse side effects, such as acne and breast development in men, to life-threatening issues such as liver cancer and uh, heart attacks. Uh, in our society, many people don't see the wrong that steroids cause. So, here are some of the problems, which I'll be explaining later. But uh, even though we as individuals have a choice, there are a specific group of people that can cause influence among the population. Uh, take Arnold Schwarzenegger, for example. I'm pretty sure everyone here knows who Arnold Schwarzenegger is, one of the most renowned bodybuilders. Um, he did anabolic steroids. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I'm pretty sure everyone here knows he did anabolic steroids. But uh, he now reaps the consequences as he's older. He's much older, he suffers a bunch of uh, health issues now. And um, being a bodybuilder for years now, I have seen what steroids can do to people. Uh, not only does it make them look like giant monsters because they look too big for their own bodies, but uh, it makes them act like monsters too. They have rage, um, they're too strong for what they really are and who they seem to be. And the choice of steroid usage has become an endeavoring factor in today's society as many turn away from it, others give it a try. So as many people know what steroids can cause, a bunch of people still go to it because they can't, they, they don't think they can achieve their own body the right way. And um, so, firstly, I'll talk about the problems that come with steroids. Uh, second, the causes, and lastly, the solution. So, the first main point is the problems with anabolic steroids. So, uh, there are different side effects on each sex. This is what it says right here. So, in a report by Mayo Clinic, it is known that in men it causes infertility, breast development, and shrinking of the testicles, and male pattern baldness. And in women, it also comes with male pattern baldness and excessive growth of hair, body hair. And so this, I don't know if you guys can see in the back, but this is actually a woman. And this is just like a cartoon picture, and this is a man. See how he seems too big for his own body? That's because of the anabolic steroids. And if you notice with the woman, it makes him look more like a man. And that's what it tends to do. So here's some more problems. So, um, uh, okay, anabolic steroids are drugs. Not, uh, they're not known for drugs that actually lead to death. They can lead to death. They're not the world's most known that lead to death, but they can in fact lead to death. As I said, they can uh, lead to liver cancer, heart attacks, and strokes, and these symptoms can even be found in athletes younger than the age of 30. So now on to the causes of anabolic steroids. So some causes of the anabolic steroids are the body buildings themselves. The media has a lot to do with it too. We all have that mentality that we need to be super sexy to attract other people. We need to have that perfect ideal body that the media wants us to have and we believe them. So this is what steroids can do to people because people, some people aren't self-motivated or they're too obese or they just don't think they can achieve it. So they, re they resort to steroids and what steroids cause them to do, they have all the consequences later that can lead them to you know, have a, shor a shorter lifespan. So now I have a little video. Among the world's most controversial drugs, not coke, heroin, or crystal meth, but anabolic steroids. Steroids are incredibly effective. However, come that fact. Steroids affect the body by enhancing the natural process of muscle building. The key to building muscle is protein synthesis and cellular repair. Skeletal muscle is made up of long fibrous chains containing proteins. Bundles of thousands of fibers make up the muscle itself. When an athlete engages in a heavy workout, this structure is damaged, causing micro tears in the muscle fibers. The body naturally repairs this damage by mending the torn fibers. The result is a muscle that's larger and stronger than before. And with each additional workout, the athlete... So basically what the video is saying is um, once you take steroids, you your body enhances your muscle much more. I know this. So when you're regularly exercise, you're tearing muscle fibers. And when those muscle fibers repair, that's what causes your muscles to get bigger because they repair them and they grow much stronger. But what steroids do is they enhance them much more. And that's what causes their muscles to be much more bigger as you see pick up, up pickle a picture of Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger here. So here's some more causes. Um, 
So as I said earlier, the media wants us to have that ideal figure and we, as gullible as we are, the population begins to believe, oh yeah, we do need to have an ideal body. But like I said, a bunch of people that are overweight and underweight, because underweight people aren't always the healthiest. People might seem to think, oh, because he's skinny, he's super healthy. But that's not always the case. Um, so people resort to steroids and they end up having problems. And as you can see, a bunch of people think that they'll, uh, they'll get this with steroids, but they end up getting that. <clears throat> so the solution to steroids. I believe that steroids uh, should be banned from gyms and sports. A lot of sports do ban steroids. Uh, take, for example, like the NFL. If you're caught on steroids, I believe they cut you off the team or you're suspended from the NFL. But um, in most gyms, take mine for example, they don't ban steroids. All they do is simply give you a warning about steroids and the side effects it may have. But I believe that they should just simply ban it because all they do is cause harm and death. And I believe the only place steroids should be used are in hospitals. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but steroids are actually used in hospitals. Speaking from a personal standpoint, I was actually put on steroids because I, I almost, uh, I couldn't breathe because I had pneumonia. And I almost died and steroids actually helped save my life. And uh, so that's the end of the slideshow. Um, so, <clears throat> Uh, so in conclusion, I talked about the problems with steroids, the causes of steroids, and lastly, the solution. So I'll close with this. So next time you're at the gym and you see someone much stronger than you, don't take the easy way out. Instead, live by these words I do. Work hard in silence and uh, let your achievements speak for you.